How you all doing? What are we going up to in this video? Well, I'm just waiting for the postman because he's coming with a pretty big parcel. Uh, we just got back from gardening in Harwich. Yes, at the beginning of October the weather was pretty fantastic, especially in Harwich by the sea. Uh, we did go in September as well, the beginning of September, and the weather was fantastic then as well. And as all you British people know, this summer has been absolutely rubbish. We had no August whatsoever. Wind, rain, wind, rain, cold, August, August. So with the nice weather, we did do a bit of uh, sightseeing in Harwich, which was quite fun. And in my spare time there, I was uh, surfing through the laptop, as you do, on uh, Facebook Marketplace, on eBay, and Gumtree, and all the rest of them. But now we're back, and... Oh, hang on, I think there's a knock at the door. Might be the postman. Red hot outside and I'm wearing a t-shirt. Hmm, that can't be right, can it? Yes, we know this is made up. But you have to start a video somehow, right? Uh, a bit of story about the bike. Uh, came across it on eBay. As you all know, I was after an RT. But the RTs are pretty much out of my price range. And the parts for them are very much out of my price range. And I came across this little tiger. And I thought, hmm. You just know, don't you? You get the feeling. That's the one. So it was on eBay for 11.95. I read the listing and uh, what's the call? What do you call it? Hundred percent feedback. Yeah. The advert reads: Triumph Tiger, engine running well, sounds good, mismatching brake levers, brakes don't work. We we'll need a front tyre. They need a chain and sprocket. Right hand wing mirror missing. Tank good. Because as we know on these tigers, the stickers all seem to bubble up and sometimes the paint bubbles up as well. For some unknown reason. Check the MOTs on it and this one was MOT, last MOT about two years ago. So it's been off the road for a while. And 41,000 miles. I better tell you what it is because some of you might not have seen the other video. It's a Triumph Tiger 955 injection. 2006. I'm looking at it now, it's out there. So yeah, let's go and have a look around it, shall we? Oh, there she is. I must admit, I'm not a fan of these. I suppose you can buy replacements, because they do look a bit squashed up, and we've got these electrical connectors on not. Not a big fan of those either. Yeah, they've got some cobwebs. Pretty dirty, rusty bolts. Brake fluid looks discoloured, so that's probably 100 years old. The actual motor looks in pretty good nick. I must admit, I do like all these stainless steel bolts. The crash bars are going to be taken off. I've got to spray those silver. Like I say, the back brake doesn't work. 
and the front brakes don't work brake discs are fantastic they could do with some work on these as well yeah I think you can get uh, radiator covers I might source those in the future to make it look neat and tidy this crash bar is all right but if we go round to the other side they've obviously dropped the bike and the crash bar is bent and pushed into the tank yeah, you could see where they're all battered and paint coming off and going rusty so they definitely need to come off this one needs to come off and hopefully be straightened when I was looking at it I thought the tank was going rusty behind it but that would be impossible because the tanks are plastic uh, the front tires are not down to the wear balls yet but it's just about there I have sourced another one which is pretty good 25 quid uh, it should have come with the side boxes colour matched but they couldn't find them so I all and awed about it and then in the end they gave me £100 refund so this bike cost me £1100 but before I tell you that I better tell you the important bit hadn't I yes I see it on eBay for 1195 and I offered them 1200 if they've delivered it to my front door and they said yes so it cost me £1,200 but I got £100 refund because they didn't have the boxes that's why it cost me 1100 quid altogether well 1125 with the spare tyre uh, they say the chain and sprocket's knackered but I think that's a new chain and it's just been standing and gone rusty a bit it's just surface rust I think I'm going to clean that up and I don't know if you can see through there that sprocket is pretty good nothing wrong with that whatsoever Trevor and the back tyre is pretty good too the paintwork is pretty good all the blue it will all polish up nice come the summer time I'll get all the cosmetics done and this will look brand new uh, we've got the swing arm I don't know if you can see that but that's about ready to fall off that paint so this one's stripping down and that must be aluminium that swing arm because the way that's bubbling up there's a bit on here as well it all wants to take him back and repainting yeah, the wheels are pretty good they're all scabbing in little parts and if you can see that and the uh, wheel is pretty good too uh, brake calipers want uh, refurbishing you can see rust on the pistons or from the, from here you, know, you won't be able to see it I like the valves as well. <laughs> a lot more easier to check your tyre pressure and pull your tyres up. Tanks normally are all bubbling up down here. But these are pretty good. Also like the white clocks. Pretty dashing. There we've got one key. I've got a key for the side boxes but we haven't got any side boxes and I know we all want to hear what it sounds like so let's start it up and ride it into the shed right then let me go around this side cock my leg over <laughs> sounds good doesn't it put the stand up Put the key in. Pull the clutch in. Let 
really go down a bit. Put it in gear. We'll try and ride it in the shed with no brakes. Oh my god. Lighter than the divvy actually. So there we go. My new project. So hopefully this little baby is gonna be kind to me and get me back on the road. Even though the summer's gone, well beggars can't refuse this, can they? So there you go. If you've enjoyed the video, thanks for making it this far. Stay tuned for the journey with this one. And on that boat. I see you in another life, brother. Cheers for watching.